carbon neutral is the new gold. Nowadays, more and more companies pledge to become carbon neutral, net zero or even climate positive. So let's break it down and understand what do these terms really mean and where do countries stand as far as carbon neutrality is concerned. Carbon neutrality refers to achieving net zero carbon dioxide emissions. This can be done by balancing emissions of carbon dioxide with its removal or by eliminating emissions from society. Carbon neutrality and net zero carbon emissions are used interchangeably. In both cases, companies are working to reduce and balance their carbon footprint. While carbon neutral refers to balancing out the total amount of carbon emissions, net zero carbon means no carbon was emitted. For example, a company's building running entirely on solar energy and using zero fossil fuels can label its energy as zero carbon. Carbon negative or being climate positive is one step ahead of being carbon neutral. This means you remove more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than you emit. Now let's talk about carbon credits. We often hear companies saying they have enough carbon credits with them. A carbon credit is a permit allowing the holder to emit a limited amount of carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases. This limited amount is one ton of carbon dioxide for one credit according to the rules. Companies need to buy them from regulated markets. This allows for reducing greenhouse emissions by giving a monetary value to the cost of polluting the air. This means that carbon becomes a cost of business and is seen like other inputs such as raw materials or labor. China, US and India are the top three CO2 emitters in the world, contributing 50% of the world's CO2 emissions. US has a target of net zero by 2050, China by 2060. Other countries have such targets in place, include Hungary, Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, UK, France. Sweden plans to do it five years in advance, that is by 2045. To end it with some positive data now, Bhutan is the only carbon negative country in the world. That means it removes more carbon dioxide than it generating it. But still, a lot needs to be done right by a lot of countries, including India, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions.